Hi, so in this video we are going to learn the derivation of Heron's formula. And what is Heron's formula? Heron's formula is the formula which is used to find the area of a triangle whose sides are given, the length of the sides are given. Yes, of course we know the formula for the area of a triangle is 1 by 2 base into height where base is one of the sides of the triangle and height is the length of the perpendicular drawn from the vertex opposite to the base to the base. So Heron's formula is A is equal to square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C where S is actually half of the perimeter A plus B plus C by 2. And what are we going to use? We are going to use Pythagoras theorem which is hypotenuse square is equal to B square plus perpendicular square and along with that for manipulations we are going to use few identities of algebra. All of this we have already learned on MathSmart. As you can see I have a triangle over here ABC side opposite to vertex A is denoted as small a and side opposite to vertex B is denoted as small b and side opposite to vertex C is denoted as side C. So I am taking this side as base. So if I take this side as base the perpendicular from point A to this suppose we call it as point D. This length AD will be known as the height of the triangle. But let us assume that this distance is D. The remaining distance will be A minus D. We have got two right angle triangles, triangle ABD and triangle ADC. If I take triangle ABD, I can write height square as C square minus D square and from ADC square of height can be denoted as b square minus a minus d whole square. Let me call it as equation number 2. From equation number 1 and equation number 2, I can write c square minus d square is equal to b square minus a minus d square because both of them represent the value of h square. So from here it is very clear that if we want to find the value of h, we have to know the value of d first. C square minus D square can be written as B square and if I apply the formula of A minus B whole square over here, A minus D whole square can be written as A square minus 2AD plus D square or C square minus D square can be written as B square minus A square plus 2AD minus D square. So let's shift this D square to the right hand side and B square minus a square to the left hand side so we'll get c square plus a square minus b square is equal to 2ad minus d square and this minus d square will become plus d square minus d square will cancel plus d square and the value of d can be written as c square plus a square minus b square divided by 2a. So we have got the value of d and now if we substitute this value of d in equation number 1 we can find the value of h square and after taking the square root of that expression we can find the value of h. So let's do that. So from here h square can be written as c square minus the square of this. So square of c square plus a square minus b square divided by 2a. So here we can use the formula of a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So h square can be written as c minus c square plus a square minus b square divided by 2a multiplied by c plus c square plus a square minus b square divided by 2a. And in both the brackets, if I take LCM, LCM will be 2A and C multiplied by 2A will be 2AC. And if I consider this minus sign and open this bracket, it will become minus C square minus A square plus B square. And similarly, the second bracket, if I open, I'll get 2A as LCM and here we will get 2AC and since there is a plus sign, the signs inside the bracket will not change and I can peacefully open the bracket as it is. So it will be plus C square plus A square minus B square. 
and if I solve it further I can take this 1 by 4 a square common and let me write this b square first and take the minus sign common from these three terms so it will become a square plus c square minus 2ac and the second bracket can be written as a square plus c square plus 2ac minus b square this will become 1 by 4a square multiplied by b square minus a minus c whole square and from here this gives us a plus c whole square minus b square so again if i apply the formula of a square minus b square over here this can be written as 1 by 4 a square multiplied by b minus a minus c multiplied by b plus a minus c multiplied by a plus c minus b and multiplied by a plus c plus b and s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 or you can write 2s is equal to a plus b plus c and from here if i subtract 2a from both the sides 2s minus 2a can be written as a plus b plus c minus 2a or you can write 2 multiplied by s minus a equal to b plus c minus a and similarly 2 multiplied by s minus b can be written as a plus c minus b and 2 multiplied by s minus c can be written as a plus b minus c so all these terms are actually going to come in these forms so from here i can write 1 by 4 a square this can be written as b minus a plus c second bracket can be written as b plus a minus c third bracket can be written as a plus c minus b and fourth bracket is a plus b plus c so height square can be written as 1 by 4 a square and this b plus c minus a can be written as 2 multiplied by s minus a so 2 multiplied by s minus a this can be written as 2 multiplied by s minus c and this can be written as 2 multiplied by s minus b and this can be written as 2s so 2 to the 4 will cancel this 4 and h square can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 divided by a square multiplied by s multiplied by s minus a multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c or if i take square root on both sides h can be written as square root of 4 is 2 square root of a square is a we have to take only positive terms because lengths are always positive and this we have to put under the sign of square root so height will be 2 by a multiplied by square root of s multiplied by s minus a multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c so this is height and if i substitute this height in this formula where base is a we can write the formula for the area of this triangle so let's do that so the area of triangle will be 1 by 2 base is a and height we have found 2 by a square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c a c a this a will cancel this a and this 2 will cancel this 2 and area of triangle will be equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so this is the proof of Heron's formula. It was very simple. Only few lengthy and cumbersome calculations. So it was very simple. We had to do only few lengthy or cumbersome manipulation of terms. But it's worth it to know the derivation. So keep watching MathsMath and bye-bye till the next video.